What's up guys, it's Joseph, and I finally found out why I was getting light primer strikes using a Timney Alpha Glock trigger inside of my PSA dagger, and I just wanted to update you guys. So I actually haven't had a light primer strike ever since I fixed it like hundreds of rounds ago. Uh, it's been completely fine, but I found out the reason why. And uh, that happened, you know, after I did my review on the SCT frame and the precision defense slide. That was getting tons of light primer strikes. It reminded me of I used to get it in this and so that was you know a couple years ago and so on the PSA forums there's a user named Dan Jr and he basically solved it and he showed how his firing pin was pretty damaged he never got it to work I don't think and mine has a little bit of that same damage that he showed and then I'll kind of describe what caused it so you can see right here maybe there is a, a shiny bevel spot right there that shouldn't be there so like I have another dagger, uh, it looks completely normal still, and that one has hundreds of rounds. But that shiny spot is a bevel, and that was created by the safety plunger not moving out of the way 100%. Oh, this is upside down. So it normally goes here, blocks the striker, and then the trigger bar is supposed to move it up all the way out of the way, so it just slides like that. But the trigger bar in the Alpha Glock is very short so I already compared this with my other dagger frame and this hump on the trigger bar is so short it doesn't push the plunger all the way up hundred percent so like in my case it's it pushed it up like ninety percent and then brute force basically caused it to go the rest of the way so my plunger does have a little bit of signs of that wear right at the bottom edge and in Dan Jr's case um, his was totally jacked up in both the, the firing pin and the plunger and in my case it was just a little jacked up so basically putting that extra power firing pin spring made it strong enough that it just uh, brute forced its way past it every time and now I don't think it's going to cause any issue but apparently some PSA daggers are not going to work so well with the Timney. So I'm not sure what changes Timney has made to this trigger over the last couple years. I have seen that the newer versions have like a dimple on the right side of the hump. So that's about it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. I still want to make a part two on this frame. As you can see, I made a very nice beaver tail right there like it should be. That keeps my thumb out of the way from the slide. And next, I actually want to remove a ton of the back of this uh, piece to make this grip a lot thinner. <laughs> so that'll be the next video. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you guys later.